The link is inaccessible because it no longer takes requests? No, refresh. I was just looking at the restream bar bot. I forgot to do a sound check. Checkity check in the yellow. Let's get going. Hello. Let's turn this from full to open. And we've just got an alert of some kind. Shoeinator just subscribed. Well, oh, thank you. It is September on Twitch. So I don't know if that was a Twitch sub or a YouTube sub. Any sub is a good sub in my book. Well, hi everyone. It's been so long. I'm so sorry. My goal had been to stream about once a week, and I can't even make it once a month now. But I am awaiting notes on both my jobs right now. Let's adjust this cover. I'll perhaps this way. Eh, differences difference does it make? And so I find myself free to draw things that I want to draw. And so I'm a little bit rusty. It's, it's so strange when you draw for work, you, you lose the ability to, to draw anything else but work-related stuff. So I'm looking forward to sort of greasing these wheels again. And I found some good jazz on Epidemic Sam, so life is good. How is everybody? Let's say hello to everybody first. Oh, so many people! Oh. 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 Beowulf, you're so awesome. Thank you. Two years of streaming. Has it really been that long? I still feel like I just started. <laughs> uh, it certainly seems like I just started. Uh, so, yes, all the hubbub, sorry, the form, form is open, so go ahead and put in your requests, and I should probably take a look on it so I don't get overwhelmed too quickly, because I also do want to sleep tonight. Uh, welcome plush blue, hello Mario, and Jaws lover, hey, 
and Shoonator, again, thanks for the sub. And Yoe, good night. Good day. And Venus Maldano, Maldado, excuse me, Venus Maldonado says, Oh, thank you, Punky Valdez. Hope you have a good weekend, too. I know it is a surprise. These, you know, I'm gonna stop attempting to schedule these. From now on, all of my streams are gonna be surprise streams. Sneak attack streams. Whichever one sounds better. Oh, and then Venus Maldonado says... I don't know, I can't make that face. Something like that. Nice. So what am I going to draw? We will see in just a moment. I haven't looked at the, at the request just yet. And... Actually, what I do, I do want to start with something specific. Something I've been wanting to... To do. And... Oh, I think somebody new I don't recognize. Casual boredom. Oh, yes! And says, first stream. That would be a clue. Welcome, casual. And Jaws Lover says, do you know who Jay and Silent, Bo Silent Bob are? Yep, I... I'm sort of Gen X, so of course I know who they are. Welcome, Krug Smash. Krug Smash! And uh, Matthew Prower, welcome. Could I draw Pepper Ann again? We shall see, we shall see. Who knows what the night has in store. Amber Streams, says Banis McManus. <laughs> but I like alliteration, so make it something that starts with an S. And Andre says, I don't know if I filled the request correctly, but let's see. And Remy is back! Hello! And Lucky Kid Dane Studios says, can you shout me out? Just did. And Donnie says, I already sent you a request to draw Ryo Saiba from City Hunter. And... And... I will do the form again. That is how you send in a request. And water meloni. Okay, I think I should... Maybe I should keep it open for a little bit. So, six, 16 responses so far. Okay. Bugs Bunny and Lower <laughs> draw pepper in again. Ooh la la. And Space Channel 5 in your stuff. Oh, God, I don't want to draw her forever. I might do that. Okie doke. So, you might remember I like to show what I did during my last stream. And this is what it was. So, one thing I'd like to do in this stream. I can turn that off for now. I was just watching Little Red Riding Rabbit the other day, and I just was reminded of how much I adore this character. And I decided, what do I do with obscure, cold, you know, cold fish cartoon characters? I like to draw them and put them on t-shirts, in case anybody would like to advertise that they are huge cartoon nerds as well. Ah. Thank you, ben Bananas McManus. But why is the audio on this so low? I almost missed that one. Okay, I gotta get this microphone a little closer so I don't keep smacking into it with my pencil. Because that would be annoying. So I'm just gonna quickly do a red riding hood. See if I can make this fun real quick.
So if they ever bring this character back, I really want to be her voice. But let's see. She's a little bit all over the place. Let's knock back the left a little bit. Yeah, I like these proportions better than the other ones from later on in the cartoon. I already don't like it. It's already a big failure. Well, because it's been so long since I've I've drawn for fun. But I like sort of the this real powerful sort of butt sticking out, chest thrust out. Hey grandma! What big eyes you got? To have. And now I'm pretty steeped in 1940s um, movies and mu music, and I still have no idea if her lines are a reference to anything. It might be a radio show. I mean, I know the big ones, but maybe there was something. Oh gosh, once you start listening to old time radio, you just realize every hilarious thing in Warner Brothers was completely plagiarized. <laughs> Eh, that's what culture is. And Matthew says, Aw, Bottom Maloney says, I'm gonna get out of bed and doodle along. Fun. And... Does Bugs have yellow gloves in Little Red Riding Rabbit? Hmm. Will I be fulfilling requests from the last stream? Uh, the last stream was closed up, so this is a fresh sheet. And Pescando says, good to have you back. Hope you and your family have been well. What a kind thought. Thank you. I hope the same for you. And welcome, Small Bug Studio. Let's see. Oh, small bug, your Baker Tunes. Hey, oh, I should have recognized from your icon. So, small bug studio, did you just start start a new company? Let me know. <laughs> Piscato says you call it plagiarizing. I call it delightful homage. Tomato, tomato. Yep, I, I agree with you. It is a delightful homage. But it also makes. The Looney Tunes cartoons, um, just the flavor of them, you, you can't update them successfully, in my opinion, because if you leave behind all of those references, you're taking all the spirit out of, out of the cartoons, like all of the weird energy that they have. So they're just, they're very... Like, my favorite era of Looney Tunes is the 1940s. Um, which isn't to say I, I also like the 1950s cartoons as, as well, but... But I, I, the 1940s was a real... That was the decade for Screwball. I mean, live action and animation, that was... I, I think it's because... You know... It was such a horrifying decade, you had to laugh. So there was a, a lot of really fantastic screwball comedies. She's real thick, let's take this down a bit. I don't like this song. You need to pick it up. Nope. 270s. Where is all the fun jazz? Traditional, eccentric, and quirky. No, that's too much. 
Okay. And Fred says, gonna open up an LLC for my animation biz, though. That's great! Do it. And Piscando says, 1940s is also the best time for Tom and Jerry. I think so, too. The late, for the late 40s. You get different treasures in different time periods. Think of all the insane flash animations we got in the 2000s. Treasure? Well, you know, those uh, G.I. Joe shorts were... The redubs, redub re-edits were pretty, pretty awesome, but... Gosh, I haven't watched those in so long. And Homestar Runner was fantastic. Most important part. I gave her hair. Give her a real big mouth. Oh, hey. Bill Cyber says, Remember, reality is an illusion. The universe is a hologram. Buy gold, buy. Remember implies that I knew it in the first place. But I must have forgotten. It's the Matrix. Not wanting me to know the truth. What was I just saying? Hmm. Hey! And Small Bug says, although there's later Tech Savory cartoons, I love too. Oh, wait. I wanted to say, what did you say about Tech Savory? Text, 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 text. Best Tech Savory cartoons happened in the mid 1940s, early 1950s too, but there's later Tech Savory cartoons I love. How much later? I am intrigued. Tell me more. And Rick Robin, welcome. Have got your request in. Pork chop sandwiches was a classic, yes. And Jaws Lover says, what are my thoughts on Judas Priest, the metal band? It may come as a shock, but I'm not that much into metal. I could take some Led Zeppelin, but I wouldn't know a Judas Priest if it bit me on the butt. And we got Chucky Chicken representing, hey. Have I checked out the Mary History of Looney Tunes series on YouTube? Amazingly insightful. Also, love, long love to Homestar. Bill Cy- Oh, was that Bill Cyber? Is that the- no, that's Bill Cipher. Bill Cipher is the villain from Gravity Falls. Okay. He did some fun cartoons at Lance, even though on a smaller budget. Yeah, I know his work for Walter Lance, but it just, um... 
never felt the same, you know what I mean? Like everything after the the major studio, the major animation studios closed down, it just... Not, not even closed down, they sort of ground to a halt, like those weird De Patty Freeling, Warner Brothers, bam, 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 dum, dum, where it's the off-key Looney Tunes intro, like they were so bad. They're just really bad. So I'm, I'm more and more inclined to think that, you know, it was an era that of cartoons that just can't really be replicated. I'm gonna make her basket smaller. I don't care if it isn't accurate. This is my version. Okay, so I got, I think I got a nice rough going. Actually, how does her hair work? Let me get a closer look. She's got the two bibbly bobs. No, nope, she's just got the one swoop, it seems. I'll just fiddle around with it and see what works for me. Since she's a 1940s character, like they always had like a bouffant on the front of the heads. Not always a victory roll, sometimes it was just like a bit of fluff. It's a good look, not gonna lie, I like it. I just have no idea how they did it. Look up all sorts of tutorials on how to do 1940s hair, and it's just, none of it quite has... It's always like movie star 1940s hair, but I just wanna know like, how does the average 
the average gal in the 1940s have her hair done. Oh, we can't forget the hood. Red Riding Hood. Okay. Think of to Patty Freeling as their equivalent of famous studios. Yeah. Small Book says, I think the Pink Panther and Inspector cartoons were fun, though. I agree. I like Pink Panther and the Inspector and uh, Ant and the Yardbark. Uh, not Cool Cat so much. Not Cool Cat. Although I loved his cameos in Sylvester and Tweety Mysteries. I don't, I don't know why, but it really tickled me to see him in there. And... Oh, we're creeping on 11. I haven't gotten to a single... Wait a second. What was the, uh... How were you able to do that animation? You're spot on with style for old Peanuts cartoons. Rocky and Bullwinkle, very impressive. What? Give me a link. Give me a link, small bug. Come on, Fred. What you, what's, what's Biscondo talking about? Um... And Piscano says, I think there's a future ahead for the Looney Tunes, but it's not quite what you expect. Space Jam 2 is going to inspire Shrek-like meme appreciation for classic Looney Tunes. It's not exactly the life I would choose for them, but, I feel like the, the Pink Panther and Inspector is, is you can't do Looney Tunes in that limited style and still have it be Looney Tunes, but Pink Panther and Inspector, they had their own flavor, they had their own style of humor, so that execution worked. And that's why they're so, and great music too. Okay. Let's see. Check his YouTube channel. I am going to. I, can, I wish I could click on people's avatars and have just a thing. Okay, I will. So let's see how many. Okay, 24. I am going to shut off uh, responses for now. And this party never stops. Time is dead. Oh, it is Bill Cipher. Cool. Time is dead and meaning has no meaning. <laughs> I can dig that, Bill Cipher. Let's get to the responses to the question. Sorry, this is the part of the show that's not quite as exciting where I... Oh gosh, I've got a couple pages to, to go through. Okay. Individual. $2 through Super Chat. Uh, sorry, I have closed the request, dude. Some dude, I'm so sorry. Um, okay, looking. I saw one before that I was like, I'm gonna do that one. Please accept this song while I'm looking for the request. I set up a system to make it streamlined, but it isn't working at all. 
I think it's me. It's probably me. Oh gosh. Lala, that's the one I was looking for. I really wanted to draw her. Okay, and here. It's nice, I don't have to go look for reference so much anymore. But there she is. I remember this game. Super, super fun. It was like the biggest thing for five minutes. Okay, I got that one. Oh, Bugs Bunny as a ballerina from A Corny Concerto. That one's funny. Let's do that. Oops. So this is from my list. This is one of the funniest things ever. Oh my gosh, we've got Scooby. Oh, Pescando, you are Shoonator. I did not know. Shoonator. Shoonator. Okay, so we've got one last Scooby Runny 2024. Scooby Runner. Velma blue hair to make it read better. For Fred. <laughs> oh. Darn it, it's not like letting me a screen cap. There we go. <sighs> okay, almost, almost through going through the list, guys. Bill Cipher talking to the beast from over the garden wall, trying to give the beast some pointers. Uh, I'll have to look that one up. I don't remember that we... Did we ever see the beast from over the garden wall? Hmm. Got Speedy Gonzalez as well. Hmm, 
Banjo from Banjo Kazooie. That might be fun. I'm gonna do all these in an hour. If I do, I do need to sleep tonight. V from Katana Zero. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> well, somebody explain to me. What what I'm looking at here? I'm pretty sure this is a game. Okay. Ah, uh, Brendan. Uh, Brendan and Aiden from The Secret of Kells. That's also a very good one. Okay. Time for me to get to work, guys. And by work, I mean having fun and draw. Take these down a bit. Ooh la la. So I even forget what the story of was it Space Station something something? I forget what the story was, but she was like, Dancing will heal the world. Or defeat the monsters. Yeah, there's a lot of requests, and I don't have much time, so I just sort of skimmed and did what seemed, what jumped out at me. Uh, it is so fun reading the chat backwards. Pages. Yes. Oh, I can't. It's hard for me to f figure the flow of conversation backwards, so I'm just gonna start from. They will take weeks until you're satisfied with each art request. Space Channel 5 is my favorite rhythm game. It's so wacky, but so much fun. It was fun. I had, it was even fun just to watch. I'm not. I don't like playing video games, but if it's a good game, I'll have fun watching someone else play. And Space Channel 5 was... There's something about it that was just... Fun. Uh, it came out before there was, like, all those dancing games, right? Before Dance Dance Revolution was a thing. And before
before Guitar Hero, right? It was sort of... I think the only one before Space Channel 5 was Parappa the Rapper. Everything, every franchise has been made into a reboot or a reimagining. They should. I wonder if they don't try to make, like, flesh out the stories of popular video games. I know video game movies are just always legendary failures, but I still feel like there's potential. Untapped potential. Oh my gosh. I should have drawn her as a Futurama character. She would totally fit in. And how does she walk in these boots? from Fifth Element. Words is hard. <laughs> Thank you for understanding, Hugo. And Alaska says, first Space Channel 5 game came out in 1999. Ooh. Wow. And D says, have I heard of this web cartoon called Ong Ongelzling? Did I say that right? think so. I don't, um, I actually haven't been into web comics for years and years and years. I used to read a few, but then sort of, I guess, you know, it's weird. It's like, I feel people stop paying attention to things at about the same time. It's like, I don't even remember when I stopped watching Homestar Runner, and I used to be religious about strong bad emails on Monday. I was like, oh, there's another strong bad email. On my and then all of a sudden, I just realized it was years later, and I hadn't had a spee mail in ever so long. Oh. 
And Ice Cream Hero says, have I seen Kid Cosmic? I have not. I have not done much of anything in my spare time except to try to get a handle on my jobs. One of them ended. One of them ended. So if anybody is in Epcot and rides the Ratatouille ride, let me know how the Rata tutorials look, eh? I was hoping that we could do that. Write it off as a business expense. No, not gonna happen. What color are her eyes? Got a little bit of blue. She's got hair loopies right here. Let's not have tangents. down a little bit that just seems too ridiculous. Oh and she's got these blasters on her back. She looks like a hard hitting reporter. Imagine going to the future, applying for a job as a journalist, and they're like, how well can you dance? Hell, it might already be like that, I don't know. Okay, so that's Ulala. I'm going to set her aside for the moment. And just try and get through a couple more. It's gonna be really embarrassing. I pick cartoon uh, requests of characters I'm familiar with because I know I can get through them pretty well. Oh, I got a. Hey, Joe. Hey. Hi, Fluffcopter. It is good to see a Yota. Which do you prefer, Fluffcopter or Yota? Am I saying either correctly? Let me know. And oh, we had some people come in. Places. Okay. <sighs> A lot of characters I'm not familiar with. Kid Cosmic by Craig McCrack. Oh, yeah, I did hear about that. That's his latest thing. Yeah. And. Yeah, I'm not surprised if Craig McCracken's new show is good. He's great. Uh, I actually finally watched the new, um, I know it's Gendy Tartakovsky, but they're, they're buddies. Sorry, there's a gnat there. I, stop it! You're blocking my light! Um, I saw the, the new Samurai Jack. Uh, weeks ago, we had HBO Max for a minute, so we just went through that, and... 
in some ways, I kind of liked it better than the original. <laughs> because, um, the great thing about the original Amaz uh, Amazon Jack, uh, Samurai Jack, and the terrible thing all at the same time was that it's episodic. And so even though it feels like it's building to, um, like from episode to episode, it's restarted. Like, you know, anything that's episodic. And that's a great thing, because I like things that are episodic. We don't have much of that anymore. But the story of Samurai Jack feels like it should always be building to something. And so when the original series ended and on that cliffhanger, I was just like, Ugh! We finally have the, the, the story I've been waiting for, and now we're not going to have a conclusion. Yeah. But the, the ending of the new series kind of felt rushed to me. Like, after, after we watched it, my husband and I just sort of talked for a few hours about the slight tweaks that could have improved it to be more emotionally satisfying. And let's see. And your time doesn't mind it either way. Well, cool. Cool, man. Hope you're doing well. And Evan says, haven't seen any not notifications from you in, actually, now that I think about it, I was going to say months, but it might actually be a year or two? I've been doing stuff for a year or two. Maybe if you haven't been getting notifications, then... I'm just going to say YouTube might be, yeah, messing with me. But it's not surprising. I, I, I sort of lost my steam with YouTube. Um... I, I, tr I was trying to get content up more regularly, and I don't know what I was doing wrong to anger the YouTube gods, but I was doing something wrong, either uploading too much or not uploading enough, but just my view counts went down to like, on videos that I worked really hard on, too. Um, as, which is to say they had some production value. And I, I couldn't explain it, but it was really demoralizing, so I stopped making that a priority. But I still want to make cartoons. I just need to figure out... Figure out some other distribution platform, but... Eh. I got a while to figure it out. So my YouTube channel was originally just a depository, an archive, and so that's how I regard it now, again. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get, I'm just not gonna get views anymore. I'm just resigned to that. So as I was saying before, like when I pick characters that I'm familiar with in the hopes that I can draw them quickly, it's always very embarrassing when I begin to struggle with them. As I am now. Days of Wine and Roses. How are they allowed to do this? No, it's called Computerized Synthesized Synthesis of Happiness. This time discloses as in men. Okay, so they're ripping off Days of Wine and Roses a little bit. You Mancini thief. And, oh, uh, I miss it. 
in the middle of three other thoughts. Evan says, only found this stream due to it popping up in my Rex. Um, do you, did you click the notification bell twice? Because apparently there's a little ritual you have to go through in order to actually be notified uh, when you subscribe to somebody. So click the notification bell twice and that should that should do the trick. Or, I don't know, maybe it's changed again. Who knows? YouTube. YouTube is YouTube. YouTube, just YouTubes, the way YouTube tubes. Jaquan says, everyone waiting for a Marvel vs. Marvel DC crossover while I'm in the back wondering how the Universal Monsters and the General Mills Monsters would interact. <laughs> I think it would end up something like Hotel Transylvania. Okay. Jaws Lover can't find his request on my list. Can you see the list? Shouldn't be able to. And ending Samurai Jack was annoying. Tell me more about what you think about the ending, because I have a way, I think I have a way to fix it. Or make, as I said, make it emotionally satisfying. Tell me, tell me. What did you think? Maybe it has to do with copyrighted music, Rick Robin says, with regards to YouTube, I'm assuming. I stopped using copyrighted music. That's why we're listening to all this generic stuff on Epidemic Sound. Uh, if you... <laughs> Fred says, if you figure out a distribution, I'll let me know. Sure will, but I'm, I'm not really on the cutting edge of this kind of stuff. Ah, I was one of the YouT YouTubers who got caught in the crossfire of the two tiers of Bell following. <laughs> oh, that was a mighty and bloody battle. Uh, Skando says, bad right now for creators. I think so. I found that personalized rather than all just means I never get notifications about YouTubers. Hmm. It's official. Fred registered as an LLC for his animation biz. Woohoo! Awesome. And Ice Cream Hero says, just finished MHA and can't wait for the next season. Hmm, I should know this. Liston's gotta go. By the way, hello, Liston. And also see you later. And Ram says, usually only know about your streams when I see them up in YouTube reps, but this time around Discord notified me on time. Well, good. And, oh, your time. But Samurai Jack says, made no sense. You can't bring up the time paradox without opening up a giant can of worms about this whole thing is possible. Agreed. Agreed. Just feels cheap. I don't know what people expected with the Samurai Jack ending. He did need to go back. He did need to be back with his people, but not without a price. And we should know about his price. Oh, my hero academia. I see. I should have known this. Aku warned us at the very beginning. Oh, your request is Max and PJ is Jay and Silent Bob? I did not receive that request. But that's a funny one.
sure what I'm... I want him to be in action. But he's too bad. I want him to be funnier. This is embarrassing. I picked this one because I thought it'd be easy. And I could get through a couple. I could just smash through a couple requests. You know, I think when I started doing these streams, I thought I was like, hey, no pressure, just quick sketches. But. Like, I don't, I don't want to try and get everything on model. I know that's going to be impossible to do these quickly and get them on model. So should he have the little bra? Why aren't you funny? Maybe I like the original legs first. I think it's funny with them pointing straight up. Or maybe that's a bit much. It should be a little bit more... We 
got some people from Twitch. Welcome. Ramsadam says, Samurai Jack Battle Through Time video game rewrote the series ending. Gendi says it's uh, official. Basically, Ashi gets to stay with Jack in the past now permanently. Oh, that's nice. Another reboot, Clone High reboot. Uh, yeah, Clone High also ended on a huge cliffhanger. But I have. I have no reason to believe that the reboot will be anything less than utterly enjoyable. The game ending is canon. Oh, okay, so Jack went back in time to be with Ashi? But if Aku is destroyed, isn't he destroyed in the past too? And then Ashi never exists? And Piscato says, have you considered doing a drawing stream where it's just you and a doodle pad and you're just chatting with us? Isn't that what I am doing? Tell me, explain to me. You get a little pressure taken off with a request and you just get to shoot the breeze with your fans. I don't know, I feel like it's the requests that bring all, all the boys to the yard. <laughs> so we'll see. St. Fasuto says, what do you guys think of the MCU? Hmm... And that way you get to use the just chatting tag on Twitch, which might yank more folks in. Oh, I didn't even know about that. That might be fun. I mean, if I ever get time um, to, to do just chatting. Yeah, I'll consider that. With the requests, let's see if I can try to just be a little less stressed out about it. I just don't want anyone to be disappointed, but I feel like I have to keep qualifying these streams. It's like I'm going to do my absolute level best to get as many done as I possibly can. And that's part of the reason why I wait for... Um, requests that jump out at me because there's you know a lot of OCs a lot of anime characters that I just I'm not familiar with and that just always takes more time and I, I feel like I don't do that good of a job but it's Bugs Bunny at least I know roughly what he's supposed to look like His whiskers kind of look like eyelashes. I'll go with it. Okay, so I want to start a fight. This has been on my mind for a few days. Everyone, chat. Rhapsody Rabbit versus Cat Concerto. Go! You want to know my opinion? I 
think Rhapsody Rabbit was robbed for the Academy Award. I think it's a Cat Concerto is a really funny cartoon, but Cat Rhapsody Rabbit is, I think is a lot funnier. What do you guys think? I mean, just for that one gag where Bugs Bunny shoots the guy in the audience who was coughing too much, it's, it's still one of the most shocking and hilarious things I've ever seen. There we go. That's a Bugs Bunny I can bring home to Mom. All right. Bugs Corny Corn. Tone. I s sort of spelled that right. Uday, Uday, Uday. Okay, so I'm going through orders. Banjo. Is Banjo the bird or the bear? It's gotta be the bear. Let's see how quickly I can do this. Rams the Nam <laughs> says, I would imagine Clone High's reboot will follow the recent trend of reboots being inspired by Ren and Stimpy instead of the source material. <laughs> I wish I had a gold star to give to you. That's so on the money. <laughs> Did you hear that? No, what was it? <laughs> oh, somebody said, I would imagine the Clone High reboot will follow the recent trend of reboots being inspired by Ren and Stimpy instead of the source material. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Does it look like somebody needs to be banned from the chat? Let's see. Maybe we should ignore them and they'll go away. Uh, MCU talk. And my favorite MCU, by far, is the Agent Carter series. That was top notch. It is criminal that that got canceled before it's done. For another eight seasons of. For eight Agents seasons of, of Agents of Shield. Uh, Piscato says, did I ever look into that VTuber stuff, live 2D and all that, making avatars for people? No, because it sounds like work, and I don't want more work right now. <laughs> I, I really want to get into. I don't know. It's just it's been so long since I've done anything, any any original cartoon, and I'm just dying to do that. I. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm trying to make life a little easier for me. And the gags of Tom and Jerry, the cat concerto, were funnier, especially when Tom was sweating. That was great. I loved the end. I do like that ending. Banjo is the bear. Banjo is the bear. Yes. I was right. Kazooie is the bird. I thought Kazooie was like a tinier bear. Hmm. No kidding, you actually won a contest that Toonami ran? I didn't know anybody won any contests. Hmm. Back when they had, uh, Tom... Wait, they had a UFO flying saucer as the mascot for Toonami before Tom? Hmm. That <laughs> Don't ban me, I'm sorry, I won't talk about Toonami ever again. It's okay, I think that they went away on their own. Under their own power. That's fine. Talk about Toonami. Toonami was great. <coughs> I love Toonami. 
love me some Toonami. I didn't even, I just watched Toonami just to, it was, it was hypnotizing. I, I watched just about everything on it. Um, and that's why I sort of gave up on uh, just anime. Because I was like, I've watched enough of it. I get it. I'm not into it. And then came Cowboy Bebop and so that flew out the window. Because I, I love Cowboy Bebop. And let's not talk about Netflix. Let's just in, enjoy the memories. I just remember being so mad at Sailor Moon after the first season. I was like, what do you mean they all have amnesia? Are you kidding me? I just suffered through so much recycled animation just for them to repeat the whole season again. Uh. But I still have a soft place a soft place, soft spot in my heart for uh, Tenchi Muyo. That's probably the girliest anime that I like. Ah, Rayao Cow. It's just it's in my brain forever. It will always make me laugh. Ah. His proportions look really weird. I think it's because his legs are too big. power of friendship through ponies the way God intended No one can tell me that Sky High isn't a live-action live adaptation of My Hero Academia. Except that it came 15 years before? But I don't know. Was My Hero Academia a, a long-running manga before the, before the anime? I don't know. Oh, yeah, that was an era of Cartoon Network where the promos were better than the shows, and the shows were pretty dang good. But, like, watching Cartoon Network back in the 2000s was... It was an experience. It was... It was a trip. It was... Awesome! <laughs> like, never before or since has anyone duplicated what that was like. And I actually just recently went off on a tear about this because of the one, um, uh, Hall of, Hall, not Hall of, the Super Friends villains one, where Solomon Grundy says, yeah. Solomon Grundy want pants too! And it's such a good promo. Because it's, it's just, once you've seen it, those voices are in your head forever and they will always make you laugh. And I think I tracked down the guy who wrote that particular promo. It turns out it's somebody I worked with before and I didn't even know. But I still need to get it confirmed. Banjo Kazoo would be an interesting property for a series or a movie or something. Because 
what? They're, they're really cute looking characters. You know that they're on about something. King of the Hill is my favorite anime. <laughs> what about his other works like Space Dandy and Samurai Champloo? I never saw Space Dandy. I really want to. But I have to pay money. I don't think it's on any streaming. And speaking of MLP, did y'all watch the new movie yet? It's kind of. I think I've 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 got enough I've, I've enough ponies. <laughs> yeah. James Gunn is a time traveler. He he traveled to the future, watched My Hero Academia, then ripped it off. <laughs> oh, the Powerpuff Girls won. My ability to talk to fish is useless. Oh my God! I wrote that down. I wrote that down, I swear. That's like a t-shirt that I want to have. It's... Which, my ability to talk to fish is useless in this situation. <laughs> Can you see? That one is so... That one's really good too. Was it Clay? Did he ever write promo stuff like that? I don't know that Clay ever wrote promos. I know that he was... I know he just did stuff for Space Ghost and Cartoon Planet. But I don't know if he ever did the promos. He never mentioned that. Joey buddy. Welcome. I'm glad to be streaming again too. Aw. Just noticed the animation desk. It is framed quite nicely. Look, I'm holding it in my hand. Yeah, I haven't used it for a while, but the great thing about moving to the new place is that we don't we can still have it set up.
Okay. So we got a banjo and a kazooie. And I think, oh, it's already close to midnight. That is, this is gonna take a bit of effort. To recreate this whole thing. This might be something I'm working on for a while. So I'm going to leave that for now. And I don't know what this guy is. It's Katana Zero. Is that an anime or is it a game? Facebook is one of, it's an important stream depository, oh well. Okay. Don't you wish you could just watch YouTube videos with us in Nostalgia Vibe? That's what the rest of Twitch streamers do. I think I can do both. Life is short. You gotta learn to get more stuff done. The moments that we have. I should learn how to draw guns someday. So many characters have them. This music is making me anxious. Oh my god. takes place a hundred to a thousand years after. And all three pony races are once again at odds with each other and it's a fetch quest to find out what happened to magic. <laughs> Am I about to turn into a pumpkin? Maybe about five minutes. But I want to get these to a good stopping point. Okay. What kind of footwear does this V character have? Why can I hear myself? I don't want to hear that. Nobody wants that. Okay, so we got... 
some people checking out for the night. Good night, Jaws lover. And and Bennis McManus says that it's a video game and you're technically a speedrunner for it. I know what that means. I do. I do not. I do not know what that means. But it sounds like you know what you're talking about. So he wears flip flops and he can't convince me otherwise. <laughs> So he's like a wolverine if he joined a gang and dyed his hair blue. Prower says, Psst, I'd recommend you get to the pepper and request in this stream. It sounds vaguely threatening. And who do you think is the dumbest cartoon character? I think it's Patrick Starr. I don't know, that is quite a competition. Weird. He's, he seems real chunky, but he's got a skinny face. One of those skinny faced people. But he's got a really furry face, too. The art doctor says, where do animators get their cool turning light box animation desk with the things to hold paper? I've always wanted one. <laughs> well, that particular one, th there was a period uh, in the 2000s where you could come by them used pretty easily because all the major studios were getting rid of theirs. I know we snagged a couple. Um, when our place of employment was terminating. 
the animation department. I think we bought three animation discs. But I'm sure you can buy them secondhand. You can get the peg bar and sort of jerry rig your own without too much fuss. He's got his finger on the trigger, which is not proper gun etiquette. But he looks like a guy who lives dangerously. I don't know. I feel like this character is not coming together. So, what do you think, guys? Would you... Uh, I mean, I used to do streams a bit more often that were just chatting while I was working on my own stuff. But would you still come and chat if it was uh, if there weren't any requests being done? Just let me know. Here, that seems more betterly proportioned. I always feel bad when I can't get to all the requests, or even a good portion of them. So I used to try to come up with, like, uh, take all the other requests and do polls to see which one people want to see, see the most, so I just... But then, it's, then it sort of turns into a job. And I don't want another one. Dude is totally rocking these flip flops. Not quite sure how this jacket works, but. I tried to get him on model and purport. I should be goofier. This is Little Cup of Joe saying, I've been streaming for two years! I should break out the celebratory Twizzlers. cool mug hat. It'd be so cool if you had one on one stream. I was thinking about trying to crochet one one time. Yeah. And if Iskander says I need an intern to handle all that stuff, I have two now. Uh, 
And the art doctor says, my dad asked me a horrifying question yesterday. He asked me, when do I think 2D animation will be obsolete? Well, you can counter that by saying, it depends on what you mean by obsolete. A medium, an art form, cannot be obsolete if there are still artists who practice said art form. But, as something that makes money, that is financed by major studios, that's not going to happen again. Not unless something major changes. But I think what recent years has proved is that we don't need the major studios. Make your own stuff. Is it sad that you're not going to get 200 million to make the animated feature of your dreams? I guess. But that doesn't mean it's going to go away. I mean, I'm still drawing. And more work than, than I want comes my way. Not to sound bad about it, it's just... There's, there's a lot of production in animation for the past couple of years. Cause it's cheaper to do than live action. In certain... By, by a certain calculus, that's true. Depends on what you're trying to do. somebody's request. So. We've got red. Let's keep the pentamente. Pseudo says, I tell you what's obsolete in 90s CGI. I don't know. I wonder if Reboot holds up. Well, oh, that was a challenging series. Woo, hey, buddy. I might do. I might um, have another stream where I finish finish these up. I know I gotta look at the responses. What does everybody think? If everybody responds to my question. Would you like? And Rick Robin says you can make it a queue list of requests. I thought about doing that, but I decided against that because I'll become so backlogged so fast that it will be impossible for anybody to get a new one in because people make a lot of requests at a time. So that's why the tip system is in place, so if somebody really wants to go to the top, they really can. Uh, but it isn't a requirement. So it's it's tricky. You offer something for free and there's gonna be a, a lot of demand, but that I can't I can't meet the supply. But I don't want it to be I don't want this to become a commission factory. So, I don't know. I still haven't figured out the perfect way, but I'm, a. Uh, it's always a work in progress, but I think generally people are pretty happy with it. Um, 
people still watch 2D, kids still watch 2D. Animation's more popular than ever. Yeah. I've got to see this cartoon. I'm gonna pull that up right now. YouTube. the fuzzy princess? Is that the one we have been speaking of? Jaquan Feature says, a major studio finally releases a big budget movie that was hand drawn for a good proportion of the film. Too bad it had to be Space Jam 2. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, welcome, Susanna. Yeah, it's rounding, rounding down, but I'm going to be here for a couple more minutes. Space Jam 2 was awesome, twice as good as the original. Which isn't saying much to me. I I I hated the original Space Jam. Well, I'm gonna check out Katrina the Fuzzy Princess. I know that's yeah, William, you've hit it on the money. I, I was so heartbroken by the original Space Jam because it's, it wasn't the Looney Tunes. It's, like we were talking earlier about the DePatty Freeling um, era of, of Looney Tunes. And they're just, they're just not funny. And they're, they're painful to watch and it's, it's not Looney Tunes. And, and that's how I felt about Space Jam. I was like, who are these characters that are supposed to be the characters I, I love and care about? And I just wish Warner Brothers would stop, stop trying. Just make something new, for God's sake. Because they want to take classic franchises and, and make them relevant. It's like, no, they they're that are relevant to a certain period of history. You take them out of that context, they, it's, it's just not the same. Although I think there's, there was one or two good um, shorts with the Looney Tunes characters. Um, I liked Blooper Bunny a whole lot and Carrot Blanca. I thought those were a lot of fun. But, you know, not exactly Looney Tunes, but let it go. Let it slide. So I think it's okay for once in a while as a, as a special, for a special occasion. But it's, everything, everything is just so painful. <laughs> I don't, I just... The Beast. Weird, weird super chats tonight. Anybody can explain what's happening? Are spam bots giving me money now?
Hey, Thunderfox. Hi. What? Bill Cipher. Existence is upside down and I reign supreme. I was actually kind of spooked by Bill Cipher. I thought he was a great villain. I don't even, I don't even know. This is weird. It's weird, guys. It's weird. Tell me if I should be scared. St. Fasutus says, Good point. Sure, it's 2D, but is it hand-drawn? Excellent point. And hello, Fairy Princess Valentine. What about Looney Tunes back in action? That movie was pretty decent. They actually felt like Looney Tunes, I think. They felt like Looney Tunes... For the, for the Louvre, for the art museum sequence. <laughs> nah, don't be scared of Bill Cipher. I know, he can turn deers inside out. That's kind of freaky. I just wonder, was he the beast too? Because the beast was here a little bit ago. And also, he who should, shall not be named. Oh, it was just a quote from Over the Garden Wall. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I've seen that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure anything can become inside out if it swings over the bar. Yeah, this is Red Riding Hood. I'm gonna make her into a t-shirt. So I watched this cartoon with my daughters, and they, this bugs is opening line like, hey gorgeous, what you got in the basket? I think they started saying that, hey gorgeous. I love corrupting my children. And yes, every time they eat a carrot, they say, what's up dog? I did not train them to do it. It comes natural when you are exposed to quality animation.
yeah, it is getting kind of like, oh, God, it's 1230. I only meant to stay up maybe a little bit past midnight. So let's review, shall we? And Beowulf says, I'm sitting here laughing very hard right now. Oh, did I miss some funny? Oh, my funny. Oh, thank you. Is this the Red Riding Hood that impersonates Catherine Hepburn? No, this is the Red Riding Hood that goes, The five o'clock whistles on the blink. The whistle won't blow, so what do you think? Hey, Grandma! That's a pretty big thing to have. She's just funny. What big eyes you got? She's really funny. She's she's like a funny Bobby Soxer. I think I'm gonna give her hair a little bit more life, a little more bounce. Yeah, that's better. So let's review. There's Red Riding Hood, which was I requested that of myself, and there's Ooh La La. And Bugs Bunny from the Corny Concerto. Let's give him a little bit of more shoulder. Oh, you know what? His hand should be different. It should be like this. Yes, yes, that is what it should be. I was a fool not to see it before. And we've got Banjo, looking kind of bug-eyed, but that's okay. And we've got this, this V fellow, and me, be like, oh my god, I've been doing this for two years. Wow! Good for me! And I'll pop in some color over the coming days and post that. And I definitely, I definitely will work on the Scooby Runner. As if you are uh, new to the streams, there is a long standing uh, set of requests that I still want to understand if this is, you know, part of something. Uh, putting, putting the Scooby-Doo characters in Blade Runner 2049. Also, is it okay if I give Velma blue hair? I think that's really gonna sell, sell this image. And... What big ears you have? Where was I? It's so late. I need to go to sleep. Okay. Um, Saint Fasudo said, Did you see my tip request? I thought I got all of those. Did I miss one? Oh, Bill Cyber. Yeah. Bill Cipher. I have to look up ref for that. Maybe I can pop this one out real quick. <laughs> A sexy Bill Cipher? Sure. drawing all that. Da 
That is horrifying. They let that be in a kid's show? The beast's true form. I forgot how creepy this show was. Sorry, I'm getting really caught up in all the reference images. why you put the reference link in the request because it saves all this fun stuff. Cup oh Joe two years. Bill and the Beast. You were talking about four armed grimace? I uh, I did not see that. Let me take a look. The only one, the only one that I, the only tipped request was Bill Cipher that I didn't get to. Did you use the form? And uh, for the next stream, can you request it? Anybody can request, but I don't make promises. There's, um, there's a form that I put the link out to. I'll put the link out into the chat. And that is how you submit requests. That's how I try to keep a semblance of organization about.
so let's see. Um, I'm not earlier than Bugs Bunny also takes a lot of influence from Groucho Marx. Oh yeah, just a, a lot of the um, radio and film from the time. Yeah, they're just very much of their era. And out of context, they just seem even crazier than they actually are. But they're still pretty darn crazy. Let's see, what does this look like when I do that? Ooh, terrible. they never brought back over the garden wall. It could be like one of those series where it's sort of a different story every every season. Definitely got all the tip requests this time. <laughs> go through the form? Let's see. Okay, so I see few tips from what is how would I recommend recognize your email as everybody has different Everyone who appears here will become trees for the lantern. Keep it coming. 
mesh for wood. Let me see. I think I see that. Okay. Yeah, but I see that. You did do a tip. So what was the request again? Can you put your tip down here and I'll put it on the list. I wish I could see what Gravity Falls had been, if it had been a CN show. Bill Cypher was always meant to be green and resemble, resemble a dollar bill. Everything would have been more different with a darker tone. Ugh. I don't know if I could take a darker Gravity Falls. It could, could be pretty dark. Take a look at how good DuckTales looked in the 80s. Oh yeah, that was a good looking show. I was just watching Rescue Rangers. We got a bunch of Disney Afternoon DVDs for the girls and watching Rescue Rangers, just the amount of thought and care just put into the props, uh, the prop design, the gadgets and inventions, they are so well thought out. By all means, keep super chatting me quotes from Bill Cipher. That's fantastic. Four armed evil grimaces drinking two two sodas at once. Grimace like from from McDonald's. Yes, but different. Okay, you're gonna have to help me out because I really have no idea. You just send me a, a link. Um, actually, go ahead and just email me what what the explaining the request, and I will do my best to get to it uh, quickly. Four armed evil grimace. But different. Okay, well, it's very late, and I am going to. I think I'm already a pumpkin. But this was a fun live stream. I again apologize for taking so long to get back to it. But life's just been just full, full of life. Life has been. Very lifely. There. Just wonder what's gonna make the best thumbnail. Ooh la la. Bugs Bunny. Probably not Bugs Bunny. Banjo. Probably not Banjo. But definitely not that guy. Definitely not her. That might make a very bold, a bold statement. Let's leave on this. Again, thank you so much. Okay. Um. Okay. And I'll never catch up with the chat. And it's only 30, about 30 people. So, again, thank you everyone for joining. It's been a blast. Love to see you guys here. It means a lot to me. And I'll catch you next time. Oh, and... 
here's the the link. For uh, my Tee Public store, I just put up a design, um, like I said, the Zod and Grundy want pants too, because I just feel like the world needs needs that to exist. And um, so to clarify, if you sent reference when you filled out the form, you filled out that part of the form, you don't need to send it, but St. Fasuto, I didn't see that uh, request in in the form, so so he's, he's good. St. Fasuto is going to email that reference. So, thanks so much again, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>